Now, if grasshaw is to become commercially viable, one important thing must happen first. Farmers need to grow it. Traditionally, more of a weed grass, while easily grown, for most farmers, it's just never been part of their crop rotations. That's why the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation is working with farmers to turn this viable crop into a profitable crop. It grows uh, very aggressively once it gets established, and uh, actually not much that can compete with it, when it once it gets this size. Brian Motes is a forage specialist working on field plots of switchgrass that someday soon the Noble Foundation hopes to release to area farmers to use for ethanol production. An ideal plant in large part for its large size. Currently here, 1st of May, it's about knee to thigh high, depending where in the stand you are. Uh, by September, when it's fully headed out, it could be up to seven or eight feet tall. Joe Booten heads up the Noble Foundation's Forage Improvement Division and hopes to do for switchgrass what the foundation has already done with a number of more traditional forages. Develop breeds that are not just suitable for the area, but are profitable for local growers. When it was just a, a part of the range, it was fine. You know, it's a, it is an integral part of our range, our native range. But now all of a sudden, you can look at it as a crop. And when you can look at it as a crop, then you can look at it as a, in an economic sense. And, and then you can build a lot of things off of it, a whole economic uh, model for, for a rural development program, if you will. And Booten says switchgrass has the potential to help growers not be so vulnerable to the ups and downs of commodity prices, taking much of the risk out of planting a new crop. You know, they're going from a, from a uh, probably holistic, um, you know, more... Uh, extensive type management system to a more intensive management system and, and it's all about economics you know if, if they get a contract to grow switchgrass and they know it pays them so much a ton to produce it then it's just an economic model that how much do I put in to get that much tonnage and then I'll know what I'll make off of it and Booten believes because switchgrass grows so well here processing plants that would turn the grass into fuel could someday dot the Oklahoma Plains. It's getting the plants here because if you get the plants then they'll give contracts to the farmers. They can then put the inputs in and grow, the, grow enough to satisfy the contract and make money hopefully. 